right, I'm going to try to record this without covering my mic again, but <laughs> so basically the server is switching over to a new server. And what this means for you and what you would have to do is pin the new libraries to show up. Because if you don't, then you won't see anything on your home screen on Plex. Uh, so basically, we're going to pretend like I'm you looking at your Plex when you open it up. And pretty much, uh, it's very, very easy. Um, currently, I'm only, I only have all movies and all TV shows pinned. I'm sure you might have a lot more, but just for the sake of example, because I just want to unpin two things at a time. Um, at the bottom of this list, you'll see more right here. And that's on pretty much any device so that you have Plex or you're watching Plex on. They all have this kind of standard setup. So you'll go to more, and then you see like you're looking at everything current up there, and that is the name of the old server. So then you go to edit in the top right hand corner over here, and this will show all of the libraries under that server, including the all movies that I'm pinned, and then all TV shows that I'm pinned with. So we want to unpin those because that server is going away. And then if we keep scrolling down, you'll see experimental, which is yellow. So it's a new server. And I would basically, you could just pin whatever ones you wanted in there. If we just only had movies and TV shows, you just only pin those two. And then uh, usually if you go a little bit further down, there's like other Plex ones, like it'll say movies and TV shows. I usually recommend unpinning that one as well. I just have it disabled on mine because it's a nuisance um, because those movies will have ads and I pretty much have the movies that are in there, but you never know. Um, but if you don't want ads in it, then you can just unpin it or you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. You can pin whatever you want in the new one as long as it's under experimental. If you scroll up anymore and you see pretty much the identical ones and everything current, that's the old server and you won't have access to that anymore um, in maybe a couple days. I think it renews on the 13th, but it's not getting renewed. So going forward from that point, it'll be this new server. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know and I can help uh, with whatever you might need. Um, but once you hit done, then we leave the more menu and then now movies and tv shows show up and you can usually tell because i in the old server they're named all movies and all tv shows and in the new server they named just movies and tv shows so that'll be kind of a hint to know if you did it right um but yeah that's that's pretty much it that's all you got to do and then it'll show up with all the things from the new server which should look different than the home screen of the old server anyways because I've added different bots and different things to pull in different shows. Yeah, but that's it. Alrighty.